November 28th, 2016. My name is Kayla. And I'm Brenna. Welcome to your Ruth Fisher News. Looking for something to do? There's some new events going on around in Arizona going on right now. The Phoenix Fall Harvest event going on right now, which is where you can bring your kids and it's fun for all family. There's a hay ride and also featuring a corn maze. Circus du Soleil will also be in Phoenix doing a show. There will be a craft show featuring a pottery and painting expo. Every year, 30,000 people assemble in the streets of Bonneuil, Spain to participate in the largest tomato fight in the world. 125,000 kilograms of tomatoes are brought into the city from a truck, so ammunition is never short. Five massive tomato-packed rockets are exploded into the air to commence the fight. There are only two rules. You must squish each tomato before throwing it so, so that the force of the fruit against your target's head will not cause injury, and only tomatoes can be thrown. Let's go over to Alonzo with sports. Welcome to Sports This Week. My name is Alonzo. So far, the Varsity Boys has, have only lost one game. The JV team is currently undefeated. Before break, the Arizona Cardinals beat for, the San Francisco 49ers by a field, last second field goal by Can Zero. That's all for this week in sports. See you next week. Thanks, Alonzo. Let's go over to Brenna with This Week in History. Hey guys, Brenna here, and oh my goodness, I cannot begin to tell you what's happening for This Week in History. So, let's get started. 100 years ago, on November 19, 1916, the Battle of Somme ends with over 1 million casualties. The battle took place in France, where French and British, British forces faced off against the Germans. In 1964, the Mariner 4 is launched, which this was the very first probe to fly by Mars, which is pretty cool, you know? In 1660, yeah, I know this was a long time ago, but still, here's what was happening. The Royal Society, which is a fellowship of the world's most eminent scientists, forms in London. What does this group do exactly, you ask? Well, their goal was to promote science education and recognize excellence in science for the time. That's all for this week in history. See you back next week. Now let's go over to Leah and Colton with Joke of the Week. Hey, I'm Colton, and this is Leah, but nobody cares about her, so let's get to our joke. Hey, people like me. And now let's get to our joke. That was pretty good, Colton. What? You're the funniest joke I've ever heard. That isn't our joke. This is. Schools be like. Homework be like. Exams be like. And I'm like, I can't even hashtag life problems. That's all for your, that's all for your joke this week. See you next week. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, Leah and Colton. Let's go over to Mason with our teacher interview. Interview. Teacher interview. I'm Mason, and today here we have Mr. Molina. Hey, guys. Mr. Molina, for my first question, what do you like about Arizona? I think my favorite thing about Arizona is that the, the diversity of the climate. Uh, I mean, go from desert, uh, you know, warm country, up to the pines, you know, hunting big game in a matter of literally minutes. So I think that diversity of the, the climate and topography. For my second question, what is your favorite sport and why? I think my favorite sport is a, pretty much the uh, combat sports, whereas UFC um, and or wrestling, those are the ones that I really get into the most. What is your favorite thing about working here at Ruth Fisher? I really get to work with some of the greatest staff on earth and a great group of kids here. Mr. Molina, for my fourth question, what is what was your favorite subject in school? Boy, I think my favorite subject in school, it's ironic, um, it was math, even though I stunk at it growing up, uh, it struggled uh, like you would not believe in math, but uh, sticking with it, uh, especially in college, that's when the uh, lights kind of started to come on, but that's when I really started to appreciate math. For my fifth question, did you always want to be in education? Uh, the short answer to that question is yes, although there were times uh, between when I started college and then when I finished it, was, which was several years later, um, that I uh, entertained other career options, but uh, I always had that, uh, that, that heartfelt desire to come back to education. That's it for teacher interview. Thanks for being here, Mr. Molina. Indeed. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Mason and Mr. Molina. Here's Colton with Fun Fact Trivia. Welcome to this week's Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Colton, and with me today I have Altier from Mr. M Mr. Marine's class. He's a fourth grader. He correctly answered the question last week, what type of American music originally started in New Orleans? Jazz music. Thank, great job, Altier. 
This week's question is, what 1960 TV show has won 50 awards and has started so many careers for so many actors and, has, and is still going on today? If you know the answer to this question, have your teacher email Mr. Whistler, and we'd love to get you on the news. That's all for Fun Fact Trivia. See you next time. That's all for this week with, with you with Fisher News. See you back next week. Go, Go. Colts!